sincerity, right? Because, yo, the Heavenly Father love the children of Israel. So, yo, we have to tap into the spirituality what the Heavenly Father gave unto us. Right. Because, yo, if we don't tap into a spirituality, the carnal living not going to happen to it. Right? Because, yo, we have resource. And the resource that we have is your how about Shimei or Shai. That's right! Spirituality. Bring it so out! If we don't tap in on the spirituality, I don't feel like that. We are going to tap into resource, kind of resource. It not going to happen. You are going to ever be a slave. So we have to tap into the spirituality what the Lord gave unto us. That's and right. Then, yo, all things shall be added unto us. Only the children of Israel may attack to. Come! The Israelite, may not attack to the Lord. Bring it out! We don't further do. We are going to glorify the Heavenly Father with a mighty Hebrew job. How so what? Yeah, as my brother was saying, Shalom, Israel. As my brother was saying, the Lord only chose one people. He never chose everybody. He saved for everybody. That's right! Chapter 5 and verse 26. 
seven. Read out. And among all the multitudes of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people. Right. And unto this people whom he lovest, thou gavest a law and is approved of all. Right. The law is approved of all. So if we follow the law, we can't go wrong. But he only give us the law to follow what he wants us to do. Read out. And now, O oh Lord, why hast thou given this one people over unto many? Shalom, 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 Otherwise known as Sarah, chapter 17, verse 17. Read out! For in the division of the nation, of the whole heart, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel! But what? But Israel! But Israel! But Israel! But Israel! Is the Lord's portion. We are the Lord's portion. That's right! We, we are ruler. It's the Lord. Isaiah 8, verse 16. Read out! Read up the testimony. Seal the law amongst my disciples. Bring up the testimony. Seal the law. Seal the law. Seal the law. That's right. Bible. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9 and verse 6. 
Bring it out! is in the midst of the sea because it's like they're telling that we're not chosen we're telling the truth but it says thy habitation is in the midst of the sea read on through the sea they refuse to know me yet the lord right through the sea we refuse to know the lord and that's why we're getting punished through lies and the sea and we're listening to by the other people who's not our people read on therefore don't say the lord of Behold, I will melt them and try them. Right. For how shall I do for the notes of my people? Right. Their tongue is as an arrow shot out. Right. It speaketh to the sea. Yeah, right. See, there the sea and life is going on here. Please, Isaiah 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. Right. If they speak not according to this word, right. it is because there is no light in them. There's no what? No light. Light. There is no light in them. Right, so if they don't speak according to this word, there's no light in them. That's right. They never give them no light because there's right. lies and deceit and they tell it. Right. They, that's what this place is full of. Lies and deceit. That's they right. They said, we're just ordinary people. The Lord never called us ordinary people. The Lord never put us on the bottom and nobody. We're supposed to be on the top, but it's like we love it on the bottom. But we turn away from the Heavenly Father and His Lord. This is Psalm chapter 147, verse 19. Bring it out! He showeth His word unto Jacob. On who? He, he showeth His word unto, unto Jacob. Jacob. Right. His statutes and His judgments unto Israel. Unto who? Unto, unto Israel. Israel! Unto Israel! Israel. He has not dealt so with any nation. Yes, he has, he has not dealt so with any nation. He hasn't dealt so with any nation. That's Why right. We're telling lies. We're talking the truth for the Bible. He hasn't dealt so with any nation. So don't come up here and tell us we're, we're being proud. The Lord is proud of us when we do his work. That's right. It's, him, it's we that he loves. Oh, no, right. no. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. That's why they don't care about this when they do the stuff out here. Because they don't care about them. Their right. judgment is coming. And when it comes, it's going to be a horrible judgment for them. That's All right. The wickedness that they have done to the children of Israel is going to come back on them. That's right. Right. The Lord has created a new thing in the earth where the woman is ruling over the man. 
the man woman. following the woman. Read on. A woman shall come past a man. A woman shall what? A, a woman, woman shall come past a man. Right, right. A woman shall come past a man. That ain't the order it's supposed to be. That's not the order. We're the head of the household. Right. Man, woman, and children. That's right. Bring it out. I'm quoting it myself. <laughs> Yeah, there's an order in the household. The Lord loves things is, done decently and in order. This is First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. Bring it out. Have you know that the head of every man is Christ, yeah. and the head of the woman is the man. The head of who? And the head, head of, of the, the woman, woman is the man. man. And the head of Christ is the Most High. Right. So there's an order. We're not saying it out of our plain opinion. We're reading the scriptures. We're speaking of the oracles of the power. This is book of Proverbs, chapter 8, and verse 4. Unto you, O oh men, I call. What? Unto you, you, men, O oh, I call. No woman. Unto, Unto you, you men, men, I call. Right. Okay. And my voice is to the sons of man. Right, and my voice is to the sons of man. He never says sons of woman. The sons of man and it's men that he called. That's right. Go to war. The Lord says, 
the Lord is a man of war. Never say a woman of war. She's supposed to be at home. Right. Dealing with the household. Right. The man is supposed to be on the front, front line, the back of the field. So when they turn it upside down and now they got Esau got their women out on back of the field. Right. That's crazy. That's why get me Psalms. Psalms 82. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. That's why they're foolish. It's right for them to think you can send women out on the battlefield. When they're fighting up spiders and ants and rats. So how the hell is sending them on the That's my They're going to be prudent, follow the laws, know what you're talking about. They tell me stop telling people funny and leading them astray. Right. 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 He that seeketh truth speaks righteousness. We're speaking the words of the Heavenly Father. That's the truth. We're out here weak in word, weak out, speaking the truth. That's right. And this place is full of a bunch of lies. That's right. Right. Letting the people them know who the children of Israel is. Waking up our people. Come out of that dead state of mind, man. Right. 
So when you ask some people, do you believe in the heavenly father? And they say, yes, I love him. They say, so what are you doing to show that you love him? Oh, I pray in the morning and I go to work and I do what's right. What is right? When you're saying, I do what's right, doing what's right is following the laws. Doing what's right is listening to the heavenly father. But we ask you, there is some commandments. You don't know that. Come on.
Right. Thousands of people around the globe die every day. 